Hello, in this session we'll see Euler's theorem, its formula and its proof. So, Euler's theorem on homogeneous function says that if let's say u is a homogeneous function, let's say of degree n, in the variable of x and y then we will have x times of the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus y times of the partial derivative of u with respect to y equal to n time the functions u. So this is the theorem. Now we will see the proof on it. So, as it is given that u is a homogeneous function, so we can say that since u is homogeneous function, we can write this u as x to the power of n f of y over x. Since the degree given is n and the variables are x and y. Now, let us try to find the first derivative of u with respect to x and then y also. So, dou u by dou x can be found using product rule and this will be differentiating the first term that is x to the power of n and considering the second term to be f of y over x. So, differentiating the first term n times of x to the power of n minus 1 f of y over x plus keeping the first term as it is and differentiating the second term using chain rule we will have f dash of y over x times of y and times of minus 1 by x square. So this becomes n x to the power of n minus 1 f of y over x plus minus x to the power of n minus 2 y f dash of y over x. So this is the partial derivative of u with respect to x and let us take it as 1. Similarly, the partial derivative of u with respect to y, dou u by dou y. Now since there is only one function in terms of y, x to the power of n will be treated as constant. This will become x to the power of n, f dash of y over x, that is use of chain rule, times of 1 over x. So this is dou u by dou y equal to x to the power of n minus 1 f dash of y over x. Let us take it as 2. So now applying x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y from 1 and 2. We will have x times of n x to the power of n minus 1 f of y over x minus x to the power of n minus 2 y f dash of y over x plus y times of x to the power of n minus 1 f dash of y over x. So we can see that the terms which will get cancelled here are this x and this x to the power of n minus 2 will together become x to the power of n minus 1 times of y times of f dash of y over x and it will be same as y times of x to the power of n minus 1 f dash of y over x. Now that the first term will be in negative these two terms will get cancelled and we will have as a result n times of x to the power of n f of y over x. So this is what we are getting and now that we know this term is nothing but function u. So our result becomes n times of u. Since x to the power of n f of y over x is nothing but u. So we can see that the result is here that x times of partial derivative of u with respect to x plus y times of partial derivative of u with respect to y will become n times of u. 
So we have already proved this. And one more extension to this we can use is, in general, if u is having more number of terms, let's say a homogeneous function of degree n, in more variables like x, y, z, and let's say more of it, what we can do is we can write x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y plus z dou u by dou z plus t times of dou u by dou t and so on if there are more number of variables equal to n times of u. Thank you.